Miss Boyser, how long have you lived in your home? We moved in July 4th, 1999. And how long have you been in your home? Um, end of October last year, 2015. And you are neighbors. Your properties are adjacent to each other. Is that correct? Her property sits behind mine. It sits behind yours, but it touches yes, your property. You have a common property line. Yes, ma'am. Is yes, that ma correct? And there's been some difficulty, I gather. Your complaint is that the defendant built part of a fence on your property to enclose her property. Yes, ma'am. You did a survey. Yes, ma'am. That survey indicated that the fence that she built was on your property. Yes, ma'am. And you forced her to take it down. Yes, ma'am. Who took it down, by the way? I don't know, ma'am. You don't know who took it down. Somebody took it down. Either you took it down or you had a fence company take it down. And in taking it down, the poles of your property were damaged and had to be repaired. In addition, you think that Ms. Allen should pay for the survey that you were forced to do? Yes, ma'am. You have a problem because you say that you also had to do a survey. Yes, ma'am. To counter the plaintiff's survey. Yes, so you want her to pay for your survey. And something about the removal of some trees that both the plaintiff and other neighbors objected to that you were planning to remove that were on your property. Yes, ma'am. And tree companies came to remove the trees. The plaintiff and some other neighbors became tree huggers, wouldn't let them remove the trees. You want them to pay for that. Okay, so let's deal with it relatively quickly. I'm not awarding either of you anything for conducting a survey of your property. I happen to think that that's always a very good idea. You are a new neighbor, and if there are any issues with regard to the property and the property lines, you should conduct a survey. Similarly, if you have an issue with a neighbor to protect your property, and the fence that she built is in the rear of your property? Yes, ma'am. She contested the first survey that we did have done. That's okay. She is permitted to do that. How large a parcel of property do you have, Ms. Boyshire? 0. 0.225 acres. And how large a piece of property? I'm do not you exactly sure the exact. Is it an acre? Is it two acres? Is it... No, I'd say it's probably like it's less than half an acre. This fence that's at the back of your property, is that fence visible from your house? Yes. How much of an encrosion was there? May I show you? Yes. The first fence that she attempted to build was from the point of her lot over to our fence on this side. The survey then showed that she was encroaching over here. So she, in turn, went and built the fence here. That's what this line is right here, and just attached to our fence on this side encroaching. It starts probably, I would say, maybe less than a foot here and increases up to a little bit more than a foot at this. It's a okay, pie Okay, so shape. it's minimal. Yes. Step back. So that the only thing that I'm actually now interested on your side is evidence of the damaged post that you say existed as a result of her removing the fence. Well, when she had the fence removed, um, we were home, my husband and I at the time. So you knew who removed the fence? I don't know who, I mean. I mean, they were other people. It wasn't the defendant. No, ma'am. Okay, so it was a company. I, I, was, I don't know. I, it, was, it was just. Who removed the fence? My fence company, and it wasn't actually a fence. It was one board that was moved. The fence is still there, it's been built but she had stated that it was across her property line. It's right on the property line, the piece of board. It's one board that was removed. Okay. It's not actually a fence. Okay, the fence do you have a picture there. of that? Um, no, I no. do not. Okay, so the, your fence people removed it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now I want to see proof that that post was damaged as a result of the removal of that board. Okay. Let me see. I have, the first picture is, is the, uh, her fence post that's right next to my fence post. This one shows where it was bent. And this, the third picture shows a little bit better where the post has broke off at the bottom when she, they um, installed the fence post on her lot. It damaged mine. And at the same time, they cut the cable line. The main cable line was in that area, and they cut that too because none of the utilities had been previously marked when she put the fence up.